Hi, this is Dave Serio from WFMD's You Ought to Know. We are here at Adventure Park USA for their seventh annual spring car show, and it is a show of all times. Before we got here, we got here at 11 o'clock, an hour before the show was going to start, and there was already over 100 cars here today. So we've got a mass amount of cars and a wide variety of automobiles. You will find something here that you will fall in love with, no doubt about it. Lots of great cars, great food. Adventure Park USA, by the way, of course, has the rides. They have the roller coaster. They have the, uh, the laser tag. They have go-karts. They've got all kinds of good stuff. But really what's great is, until 3 o'clock, they have Bob Miller from the Morning News Express. David, you know what? I really want to challenge you to a go-kart race. You and me out there on the slick track, and you can't bring the Dodge Viper. Well, okay, well, if I can't bring the Dodge Viper, then I'll bring the Hellcat. Okay, and I'll drive the, what is that over there? That That's the Pantera. Okay, I'll drive the Pantera then. We'll That's do that. So, you know what? I come down here to these car shows, and, and people who have cars, like yourself, amazing what they do, but they're the ones who pay to be here. Not the people to look at the cars, the people who actually have the cars. I always find that fascinating. Tell me the, tell me the reasoning behind that. Well, normally, everybody here does not have any problem at all paying 10 or $15 to show their car, especially when it goes to a, a nonprofit, and that's what's happening today. It really is a good time for us to be out, socialize with friends of ours that have cars. Uh, like, for example, these five cars right here, we all know each other. And we've been to car shows together, and we got a chance to park together. We all see each other. We all have lunch together. It's just a great day. And, of course, it goes to a good cause. So that's what really makes it worthwhile. So it's a community. So there are some do's and don'ts when you come to a car show. One of the do's is find the cars that you love. One of the don'ts is don't touch them. Exactly. Belt buckles you got to be careful of. Pocketbooks for the ladies when they walk around, they can accidentally scratch a car. It's very easy to scratch cars. We have Mike Lambert from the Shine Shop here, and that's his job is to correct scratches and problems that happen even at car shows so that's a very important to just be very careful when you're walking by and again unless you own it don't touch it don't touch it because you'll get in lots of trouble but a lot of fun here at adventure park until four o'clock this afternoon exactly my show's every saturday morning 10 a.m on wfmd it's called you ought to know we talk cars he talks news he talks all kinds of things all every morning monday through friday bob miller dave serio wfmd Hi, this is Dave Serio from WFMD's You Ought to Know. Every Saturday morning, 10 a.m., hey, we've got a great time today. We're at the Adventure Park USA 7th Annual Spring Car Show. Cars, trucks, buses, all kinds of different automobiles are out here and all in beautiful condition. You will enjoy yourself even if you're not a car nut. You will enjoy yourself. And of course, Adventure Park USA also has the rides. They've got the roller coaster. They've got laser tag, even go-karts and more. So make your way to Adventure Park USA. Now, I have with me Jose Bueso. He's one of the partners of Dynamic Automotive. You can find out all about the four locations at dynamicautomotive.net. But you have a brand new location you got just opened up. That's right, Dave. We've got a location just north of Frederick, right off of Hayward Drive. It's on Bike Drive, actually, and it's been open now for about a month and a half. And you're doing a great job there. You've got, of course, Big Bobby Allen running the place, yeah. and uh, his name should be on a NASCAR. <laughs> but Big Bobby Allen is running the place, and things are going very well for you. Yes, he's doing a great job. We've got uh, John Harrington in the back actually working on the vehicles, very conscientious, very skilled. They're doing a good job over there. We're getting to know the community as we do with all of the communities that we're in place with. Now, you've been around since 1995? Yes, been around since 1995, opened up the shop in Newmarket, and then we opened up another shop in Liberty Town, approximately 2001, and then we built a shop right off of Route 270 in Urbana and opened that up in 2004. You know, the one lesson you learn is when you build a shop from the ground up, the next one you buy somebody that already built one, right? Yes, that's the truth. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, but the Urbana location is the charm. I'm telling you, nine bays, a car wash, four bays for quick lube. It is an incredible building. Yeah, that, that's a nice facility, and that one is open seven days a week. If you need a car wash, you can hit that location on Sundays. We do have a 60-foot soft cloth car wash that does an amazing job. As a matter of fact, our extreme detailer our friend mike lambert swears by that car wash 60 foot car wash open seven days a week they're auto repair five days and six days at some of the locations find out all the information at dynamicautomotive.net i'm dave serio from wfmd's you ought to know
Hi, this is Dave Sirio from WFMD's You Ought to Know. We are live at Adventure Park USA for their seventh annual spring car show. Cars, trucks, even a bus is here. I mean, lots of different vehicles to see and love and also take pictures of, of course. And the Adventure Park is open. We've got, of course, the rides. We have the roller coaster. We have go-karts, they have laser tag, and a whole lot more. With me is Mr. Mike Lambert. You may have recognized the name from WFMD show. You ought to know. He calls in every Saturday with advice on how to keep your car clean. He owns the Shine Shop along with your wife, Lena. Yep. We definitely want to put that on there. Yes, we do. Don't want yes, that on do. the web without that on there because she does all the hard work and you do the cleaning of the cars. I just wax the cars. There you go. And you do a great job, by the way. Thank you. This Thank you. is your black challenger behind us 2013 rt challenger yes, and it's really the only black car here right that's what i believe <laughs> other than yours that we've done so uh yeah this is uh got the kamikaze collection on it as does yours and uh, we've been real happy with it so far the ceramic coating is what mike's talking about it's a coating that goes in place of wax you never have to wax your car the kamikaze lasts for about 18 months for an everyday driver if you want to keep it inside as a uh what do you call it, a uh, garage queen, you probably get three to four years out of it easily. Easily. Uh, the Kamikaze, the top of the line, will give you three to four years, on, even on a daily driver. So it's just phenomenal products, and it just makes maintaining your car so much easier. If you want to contact Mike about a ceramic coating for your automobile, 410-833-1632. Want to find out more about it? Go to the web, theshineshopautodetailing.com. I'm Dave Sirio. We're at WFMD's You Ought to Know. We're out and about at Adventure Park USA till 4 o'clock today.